Hello there, this is Alana Tucky. I am lead faculty for Math 131 and Math 133 at Jackson Community College. These calculator tutorials are going to go through um, a lot of the basics for the TI-83 and or 84. As you can see, I have an 84 here on the computer. Um, it's going to go through a lot of the basics that your textbook covers in Appendix B for Math 131 courses, but it's useful really for anybody, I'm hoping, <laughs> anybody who um, needs to use this calculator for their algebra classes. I have other videos that will also work for statistics classes that are more specialized, but these videos, this set of videos is going to be for how to do the basics. All right, um, and just as a reference point, I'm going to be um, working from your textbook, which I have located here. Um, this is the Math 131 book we use, Jay Lehman's Intermediate Algebra, um, but I'm going to be expanding on some of the things he does or changing some of the things he does, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I'm using questions and problems wherever possible that are available from my typed notes, which I have right here. Now my typed notes, you might be wondering, oh, how do I get those? I have them on my website which is personal.jccmi.edu slash J. Then notice there's no www. And for these particular notes um, that I'm going to be working from for this these set of tutorials, it's going to be Math 131, so you click there. And you scroll down and there's a whole bunch of notes in there. And I'm going to be using problems out of these notes, which are going to be very similar to algebra problems you would see in most textbooks, I would imagine. Um, if you've got questions or anything about it, you can contact me by clicking on the Contact Me button or, you know, email me. All right, so let's get to it. First thing you got to know about a calculator is, oops, and just for reference for these videos, um, don't pay any attention to this thing that I'm moving around. That's actually my recording device, so I just kind of move it out of the way. I might have to swing it back down, but you can't press these buttons and do anything. I have to do that, so anyway, back I go. Okay, so turning it on, there's the on button right there. See? Turn it on. And if you want to turn it off, you hit second. And then you hit the on button again. But see, when you hit the second button, this is going to be true of the calculator in general. When it's blue, right? And then see this off is above the on key in blue. It turns it off. Um, it's not really going to do it here because, of course, this is a computer program. So you know, there's nothing to turn off. But when you're on your calculator, um, 83s, by the way, are a different color scheme. They usually have their second button as a yellow button, and then the writing is in yellow. So um, I'm going to try to refer to it as the second key, but if I slip up and say it's the blue one, just realize that it would be yellow for a different calculator. Alrighty, so that's first thing, how to turn it on and off. Next thing, how to turn it lighter and darker. A lot of students will come up to me and they'll say, Alana, I can't see anything on my screen. And it's they think their battery is dying. Well, your battery is not dying. Well, what's happening is that your screen has been turned light or dark. Um, if you look here at the arrow keys, see that guy in the middle? It's a contrast button, just like on a TV. So if you hit second, down, second, down, second, down, it would make it lighter. And if you hit second, up, second, up, second, up, it would make it darker. And again, it doesn't work really on my computer because this is slightly different. It's a computer program. But when you're on a calculator, if it gets to the point where you can barely see the writing, that's usually not a battery thing. That's usually a second up, second up, second up thing, right? So you've got to make it so that it's darker. Um, oh, and by the way, notice on this program, you can see the buttons I'm typing over here, um, as well as they light up when I press them. I will clear these right now just because you don't need to see them all the time. Clearing. All right, so that's um, the basics. The other things to know is that um, when you're wanting basic calculations like 85 plus 56, enter. There you go. Looks like that. Um, if you want 56 divided by 4, enter. There you go. All right. So the basic number buttons are down here, and the basic add, subtract, multiply, and divide buttons are over here. All right, I'm going to hit you next time with some graphing stuff. So I'll be back in the next video for how to graph.